All right, you guys, so today we are going to the lighthouse that finally opened up after two years from COVID. And this is actually gonna be my first time checking it out. Today we're gonna be using a film stock that I've never shot before, something really interesting. And this is Lomochrome Purple right here. This film I've been wanting to try now for a super long time, but I could just never get my hands on it. And finally today, we have some Lomochrome Purple ready to shoot. So I'm gonna load it up here in the Voigtlander Bessa R2A. And I have my 28 millimeter Ultron kind of geared up at the front. And yeah, that's our goal. We're just going to be taking some really cool photos here, checking out the view, checking out the, the lighthouse, and uh, really seeing if this film lives up to the hype that it is set out to be because a lot of people really enjoy the look of Lomochrome Purple. It's something different and it's something fresh. So let's see if we can make any really cool images with the Lomochrome Purple. Let's go. All right, really quick, let's take a look at the box here. It says Lomography Lomochrome Purple. And then it has XR 100 to 400. So I'm guessing you could rate this at different speeds. Uh, just because it is a little bit sunny today, I'm going to rate this at probably 200 ISO, which is going to be right dead center. 2019 formula, super detailed box. I almost don't want to throw this away, but let's load it up, you guys, inside of the Voigtlander Bessa R2A. There goes the box. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the Point Bonita Lighthouse on the California coast. It's on the other side of San Francisco, so I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but San Francisco is all the way out in the distance. There is the Golden Gate Bridge. You can kind of see the skyline right there. And then it's just on the other side. It's probably a 20 minute drive from the other side here of San Francisco. If you guys ever get the chance to check it out, man, I would highly recommend it. The views already are insane. So Loma Chrome Purple is supposed to turn the greens I think into like a very nice purple looking feel I'm not 100% sure like I said this is my first time trying the film stock out and so I'm more so just approaching this like I'm just taking photographs like normal and just seeing how it ends up turning out so yeah let's make our way to the lighthouse so try to get a little trail shot here see how it handles this contrast How does it look, guys? So I guess I do have a couple of questions when it comes to this film stock. The first one being, how does it interpret colors? Are the greens just gonna be purple or is everything just gonna have like a purple tint? Every time that I see Lomochrome purple in people's Instagram posts, it just looks really good. Uh, secondly, how is this gonna render the light? I don't know, I think I'm just so used to shooting film that doesn't really have any cool characteristics like the purple that this film will give off. So I'm really curious to see how it looks and just how the overall images come out. Just a quick little disclaimer guys, be really careful when you come out here. There's a lot of just cliffs that are just separated by these little railings right here. That is the end of somebody right there folks, so please be safe when you go. But here we are in the tunnel, hopefully by ourselves, I'm gonna start singing. 
Someone walks across that bridge, it's gonna look fucking insane. The light right now is getting, it's pushing up on all of like the sea mist that's coming up, so there's like this dreamy almost look to it that I'm hoping it turns out well with this, with this film stop. We, we don't know. <laughs> So there you guys have it, man. Lomochrome Purple through the Voigtlander Bessa R2A. 
So really quick, just to close up the video, I wanna share a couple of my thoughts on the film stock and just pretty much do a quick little overview. So like I said in the episode, this is a film stock that I've always wanted to try, but after seeing it and being able to shoot it, the results honestly surprised me because it's not what I expected it to be. The first thing that surprised me was the highlights are what's gonna be purple in your images. So I don't know why I was under the impression that everything that was green was going to be purple, but after getting the scans back from the darkroom lab and being able to kind of review the images the highlights are what ends up being purple in your frame with that said any of these shadows for some reason had a really really vibrant green tint to it and uh, it kind of makes sense you know if you think of the like a white balance point of view uh, you have your green in your shadows and then your highlights are gonna be purple and I kind of wish we shot this in more of I'd say like more like a traditional landscape like something mountainy green maybe even Yosemite but overall the images didn't disappoint I think for the film stock being a specialty film you can definitely create some really cool effects and if this is something that you're into it is a film stock that I would highly recommend being that this is my first time shooting the film I don't have tips for you know how to go about shooting this film stock and whatnot definitely stick to mostly landscapes or street and whatnot because I don't think your portraits want to be all purple but just going off of first impressions I really do like the film and it's definitely a vibe that you can try out if you are into this type of style of photography it brings more of a fun perspective perspective in. I think it would be really interesting to see someone shoot this with a telephoto lens or even with uh, just like nighttime photography as well and how that renders color. But that's going to wrap it up for me you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on Lomo Chrome Purple if you've shot it or if you plan to shoot it. Uh, I would highly recommend you pick up a roll. I know Lomography has these in stock currently as we speak and so definitely check it out. It's not a sponsored video but if you've never shot this film before definitely definitely try it out but that's gonna wrap it up i'll see you guys in the next one man as always this has been king japes minolta game Whew.